Now to the Long Island synagogue. Flooded hours before Rosh Hashanah services. It could have put a real damper on the start of the Jewish New Year, but thanks to a local church, the holiday went on as planned. Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne is live in Island Park with the story of two faiths coming together. Kristen? Well, Sade, we're here just outside Sacred Heart Church, the place where members of the synagogue came together this morning for services. You know, some would say, well, this is kind of strange, members of a synagogue worshiping in a church. But when you talk to people from these two congregations, they say they are not surprised at all. The music was the same, so were the words and prayers. The place, though, quite different. Members of the Jewish Center of Island Park celebrated the holiest day of the Jewish calendar in the parish hall of Sacred Heart Church. Well, I think it's a sign of just how people, if they work together and there's no separation between religion, really, and we're all one people. Sometime over the weekend, a pipe burst in the synagogue just down the street, flooding it with about six inches of water. When members arrived yesterday, less than 24 hours to Rosh Hashanah services, they saw the damage. They immediately contacted Pastor John Tutone and asked the church if they had any space they could use. The fire department came, parishioners came, and uh, they cleaned the, the floors, the bathrooms, the kitchens, and put the place in order so that we could have company. I just hope they don't open any closets because we tossed an awful lot of stuff in the closets the same way you do at home when company comes. But the synagogue members are nothing but appreciative house guests. And to them, this entire situation is far from unexpected. Did I think this was anything unusual? Honestly, I did not. It was something I would expect to happen here. And the pastor here says that those with the synagogue are more than welcome to stay throughout the duration of the high holiday season. He also told me that the reason for this is that the relationship goes much deeper. He says he and the rabbi are both huge Rangers fans. We're live in our Island Park, Long Island. Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.